you're a home buyer that may have a home to sell when it's time to find the perfect home and get ready to make an offer, how do you go about making a decision when to place your home on the market, what to do about yourself in the process if your home sells faster than you've been able to find one or you find one and your home hasn't sold as of yet? Those are some critical questions that a lot of homeowners these days and prospective buyers are asking because the market is consistently shifting and things are so different than it was just six months ago. Terrence Hill, the real estate consultant here. I want to go over five top key tips to things to remember and consider when you're in the position to purchase and also sell a home. Number one, understand, it's two questions that you want to think about. If you found an ideal home today, will you be ready to make a decision and do you have everything lined up in order to do so? Think about that. Number two, what's your motivation? Which is, I think should, should have been number one because your motivation is going to determine how committed you are to the process if and when you get involved in doing what's necessary in order to be able to make the transition from the home that you're currently living in now to a bigger home for yourself and your family. Number one, of course, I always start with this, know your budget. Know ideally if the right home came up, are you in a position to be able to move on and do what's necessary in order to be able to get you to be able to move into the home. Number two, what timetable did you have in mind? So, for example, I talk to prospective home buyers all the time. They said, listen, you know what? Well, we just kind of looking to kind of see what's out there before we make a decision on putting our house on the market, which makes sense. But the downside to that, if the perfect home popped up today and you haven't, number one, understood what the value of your home is by a top real estate professional, even a real estate professional that's competent and understand the market in your specific area. And then number two, if you haven't spoken to a lender, how can you even assess your ability to be able to move on a home, the perfect one for you, if it came up on the market today? So I say start with number one, knowing what your budget is, and of course, it's all about having a conversation with your lender. Now, of course, most home buyers that are in that phase of kind of just looking, they don't really want to inconvenience um, a professional. Also, they don't want to have be bombarded with phone calls, emails, text messages about buying a home or trying to expedite or trying to move up their timeline from what it is they're trying to do. But I say it's critical as a buyer to know where you stand in terms of your ability to purchase what it is you think you are able to get, especially with the interest rates rising over the last you know, two to three months more than one time. Number two, being able to know, again, what your home value is, being able to talk to even a couple of real estate professionals. Yes, you're gonna be potentially exposed to those phone calls, emails, and texts from a real estate professional. But I think if you're able to articulate that, listen, I'm just in the looking phase. I will consider you when the time comes. But for now, I just need to know what my home's value is. So those are the, the top two things. And number three, you want to take a look at the timetable. If we were to find a perfect home, or when we you know, what is our timetable in order to be in the next home based on our motivation? What's motivating you to do it and what that timetable looks like is critical. So that's number three. Number four, do you have a temporary game plan in mind if in fact your home sold before you found one? Do you have in-laws to move in with, family or friends? Are you open to a three to six months rental um, in a market that's going to charge you more for rent today than it was you know, just six months ago? So I think those are things to take a look at as well in terms of being able to have a, a backup plan if in fact once you decide to make a move, your home sells quicker than the ability to find one, and that's something that you to take in close consideration. And number five, being able to keep in mind what areas do you want to live in? Like, like what is your ideal area that you want to you want to live in in order to ensure that is it those type properties available and how frequently are those homes becoming available. So those are the top five things I think every home buyer should take into consideration. Of course, reach out to us for a direct consultation, 901-691-2722. And I can assure you we won't bombard you with unnecessary phone calls, emails, or texts, but we will get you the information that you need and so deserve in order to make a well-educated and informed decision. Thank you for your time.